Oh god. Oh, I forgot about him. Oh no. Oh shoot. What? He zapped me? Welcome back to episode four of our Delivers the Moon gameplay walkthrough. Episode one, two, and three, we launched the rocket, went to the moon, and then we repaired our little space buddy. It's like a little droid thing from like Star Wars. It like relieves your relives your memories and stuff like that. So that's pretty cool. Let's uh, let's see what we can get to today. Uh, we're supposed to get on the lunar surface actually and start you know driving around with our lunar rover. All right, so let's jump in and see what happens. Oh, as always, just a reminder about the giveaway on the channel, 500 subscribers, I will give away Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, which is Xbox Game Pass Live and Xbox Ultimate combined in one easy code. All you have to do is be subscribed and hit that notification bell, because once that video uh, goes live, I really want you guys to find out. I'm going to post in the bottom of the, uh, or in the video, the beginning of the video, the, um, the screen recording of me actually doing the uh, giveaway uh, online. All right, here we go. Um, generator reset power online. Oh, yeah, I knew that. All right, this is where we were yesterday. We walked through here. Bear, listen to that. So, if you want to see what that is, go to yesterday's video. Then we came over here and we logged in. So, we know the MPT is offline. Obviously, it blew up in space. Again, this is all on yesterday's video. Uh, yeah, we know we're unable to connect. It's gonna tell us that we need to use the uh, the lunar vehicle, but it powers out. Access moon surface through vehicle bay. Open vehicle bay, and it's not gonna work. Unable to power, of course. It's like we c nothing works for us. Nothing works. Provide power to vehicle bay. Okay, provide power to vehicle bay. So this looks like is this the vehicle bay? No, that's just like the lobby. Crew, crew quarters. Oh, crew. Oh, here's little, one of those little battery packs. Oh, okay. Vehicle bay. There it is. Vehicle bay. Jesus, two for the vehicle bay? All right, so now yeah, here's the vehicle bay right here. Additional power required. Additional power required. Okay. All right, let's go out here and look for one of those, some of those batteries. We're supposed to be getting. Um, I don't see any batteries yet. Oh, but this is cool. Database. The Hugens Memorial Stone. These are all the people that died in that Hugens cryosleep thing. In 2048, six years before the blackout, the experimental cryosleep generator malfunctioned inside the Hugens Research Facility. Only three people survived. Maria Gonzalez, Dr. Rosa Levert, and Edgar Davis. For their bravery in the face of the disaster, they were awarded a symbolic coin, of which one seems to be missing. Oh, yeah. yeah that's funny. This is like the military coins. Memoriam, 2048. I mean, why would you give a coin though of like reliving that? Wasn't that like PTSD type stuff? Ah, that's where I want to go. Look at that. And that lighting is so realistic. It's it's really gonna mess me when I get out there. Anyway, back to back to the back to the task at hand. Oh, nope, that's not one. Okay. Let's check over here. We didn't even look over here yet. Crew quarters. Nope. Oh, is there an upstairs? Oh, here we go. Whoa. Did we watch this already? Hold up. Do you see the people down there? No, we didn't. They will be the start of a new chapter. Together, we will be humanity's future. At what cost, William? We're saving the species so we can start again. If this is what it takes for humanity to survive, I'll gladly take responsibility. There you are, Johansson. Without your help, this wouldn't have been possible. Isaac? This was not the agreement, you know that. We need to get the MPT back online. Be realistic, Rosa. Even if we ever manage to provide Earth with all the power it needs, what do we truly gain? More time to see oceans and deserts taking our homes. William, I've done my part. Let's just go. I'm 
done with this mess. You heard the man? Let's go. Outward begins. Hmm. Okay, so outward is capitalized. It was just a normal word, it wouldn't be. So I think it's like a program or a ship or something that they're trying to leave. It looks like Isaac turned on Rosa and actually teamed up with uh, Mr. William Guy. Interesting. Okay, so here... Oh, this is like the moon's surface. So we're at the Copernicus Moon Hub. There's the Hyogens. There's an outpost, there's a Rhino, and there's a Tombow that people talk about too. Interesting, okay. Hopefully we reach all those places. You think it's in maintenance, some of these batteries? Wait, are you making noises? Do you want me to come with you? Oh, what's in here? Oh god, I'm getting lost. Oh god, I'm definitely getting lost. I don't know if there's batteries up here. Okay, here we go. ASC, software behind your faithful companion, Eric Range. Dear Sarah, I found this book and thought you might like it. Please accept it as a thank you for all the emotions you programmed into my ASC. May this book inspire you to program many more with kind regards, Rosa. She has some weird handwriting. Looks like a six-year-old. Someone who works at NASA. I don't, I don't trust that. Oh, let me turn my flash on. I always forget. Sorry, guys. Okay. There's interface that homeboy. Thank you, Roly Poly. Okay, let's see. I need to find batteries. Please don't tell me that this this guy right here could interface with this thing. Can you, Roly Poly? Roly Poly, do something. Power this bad boy for me, alright? Maybe they're not the batteries like last time. They actually look a little bigger. Oh! My god. So I'm taking the ones out of maintenance and putting it into the vehicle bay. But that's only one. Where's the other one? Additional power. Right here. No, of course not. This tin cup. Press. What's that? Home to the state-of-the-art fusion reactor, the Tombo facility is the heart of humanity's mining operations on the moon. Helium-3, drawn from the harvest, provides for the ever-growing expansion of our economy and lights the surface of both moon and Earth. Under Councilman Jupiter, this is exactly like Jurassic Park. They had a little voiceover. Just space version. <gasps> space dinosaurs, imagine that. Okay, I still need one more battery pack. I hear you beeping, Rolly. Hmm. Can't go back in maintenance. Maybe that's my problem. Maybe I need to, maybe I need to keep this thing open. You know what I mean? Maybe I need this back because this game is freaking. Oh, wait, what's over here? Ah. Okay. Put it in crew quarters. See the second batteries in here. This is what's going to be out. This game is something else. Whoa. What the? Oh, shoot. Is that an evil ASE? It is. Yo, is that your evil twin? Trying to get us. Labor we grow. Oh shoot. Let's get out chair. What? Although the WSA protocol strictly forbids physical conflict on the moon, MacArthur overloaded ASC unit safety limiters for crowd control. Told you. Evil. Many expressed concerns over their dangerous voltage when facing an overloaded drone. Most would flee rather than fight. Whoa. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh god, we're locked in here. No, 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 get me out. Get me out of here. Oh god, I don't like that noise. Gain access to the security office. Manually realign, oh, I knew that. 
Oh, I do not like that. Yo, this evil droid. There it is. I need that. Ah. I gotta go to the evil droid first, though? Well, I don't wanna listen to you just yet, cause... Okay, so I can't go to any of these offices. Oh, oh, yeah, I can. This is Pedro for your era. Oh, dang. They sleep like freaking Navy people. But he's got a lot of, like, soda and stuff in there and snacks. Ha! <laughs> he's a snack boy. All right, there's nothing else. Whoa, 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 whoa. Evil twin? Are you the evil twin? All right, none of these the doors are opening. Oh, okay, here we go. We got another one. Collect. Emergencies use Moon Hub's construction year. Moon Hub's construction year. Oh my god, what year was this bad boy constructed? Wait, can I collect this? I can only read it. Okay. You guys remember what year this Moon Hub was constructed? 2048? Something? 2049. 2048. 20 something. This is this guy at the podium that was speaking. Uh, pioneer or dictator. That's funny. I guess William didn't have a, uh, a good reputation around here. You like it. This is Anastasia. Anastasia. Oh, these are wait multiple people. Okay, I'm just looking at the top name. Again, probably more devs, which is pretty cool. Moonman, the bridge. The astronaut descends to the moon and finds it deserted as he investigates the facility and unravels the reasons for an abandonment. This seems familiar. He soon learns that he has no choice but to enlist the aid of an artificial Italian. <laughs> this is exactly the storyline of the game. That's funny. You, you're my artificial intelligence, little buddy. Okay, let's let's go face this evil droid now. I'm kind of scared. Let's see what this says. Wait. Press listen. There it goes. Come in, Rolf. I'm at the quarters. Do you read me? Copy that, Sarah. I hear you. Anything interesting? Everything's deserted, so nothing new here. Sarah, Rolf, this is Pearson Control. Our time's running out. Take the elevator back up here to make it in time for evacuation. You've got two minutes. Negative control. MPT network is still offline. Leave it. We have to go. Head to the elevator now. I'm not putting anyone at risk. Understood. Wrapping up now. Sarah, you heard control. Are you almost here? Sarah, come in. Everything okay? Come in. Rolf, get over here quickly. What? An AZ unit just activated, but something's not right. They're evil. The doors are locked behind me. What do you mean? We've got to go. I'm serious, Rolf. Get over here. I can't get out. 30 seconds or you're too late for evac. Head to the elevator Negative now. control. Engineer Baker requires immediate assistance. We need more time. The evacuation procedure cannot be delayed. Negative. I'm calling up the elevator now. Negative control. Control. No, guys. There's still time. Just they left him down here? Rolf, are you still there? Yo, what that like that sound in the background is spooky. Just as Sarah and Rolf are ordered to return to the Pearson Space Station, Sarah's an encounter with a vigilant presence. Ordered two days, two hours, and eleven minutes after the black guy. You guys heard that? You heard that freaking scary noises? But I don't want to go in here. I don't even know the year it was made. What I say? Twenty forty nine. That's uh, that's right. Uh, okay, it's got to be somewhere in my database. The mission, maybe. Moon hub, Copernicus moon hub. That would be in. Okay, if it was recorded, the blackout was in twenty fifty four. There's no way it was made five years before that. It's got to be. Quick guess, quick guess. We're gonna go with 2005. 2001. Construction year, construction year. Where would I find that out? Where would I find this out? It's gotta be one of these crew quarters. 
people. That's down here, actually. 2032? Is that it? 2032, 2032. Let's see if that's it. That might be it. Oh, shoot. Wrong one. Clear. 20... 32. Yes! Haha! <laughs> Glad I went back there and looked. There's the security people. Oh god. Oh, I forgot about him. Oh no! Oh, shoot! What? He zapped me? What if I used you? Will it zap you? No, he will not. Okay. What am I supposed to be getting, though? What am I supposed to be doing here? Oh, here we go. Oh, I see. I gotta get around him. Okay. Go! Hey, I was in front of this thing. Come on. Oh, he's scary. Oh, God. I don't like evil robots. Oh, no. I'm gonna walk slow and pick this up. No, he walks so slow. Don't do this to me. Go. Oh, wait. This is power. <laughs> this is powering him. <laughs> oh, I'm good now. Wait, why do I want to drop it? That's funny. Okay, I was so scared for nothing. All right, here we go. Let's put this battery pack in this one. Nice. And let's grab this one from crew quarters. And let's go put this one over here in this backup power. Okay. We got power, boys and girls. Yes, let's go. Let's go get my rover. Whoa, that's cool. I feel like I'm like Batman's bat cape, but for astronauts. Oh, there she is. There's my baby. I haven't met you before, but you're, you're already my baby. Oh, that is so cool. Look at it. It's glorious. Let's just do a quick search around here for any consumables, any, uh, what they're called. Yeah, see, like this. That's probably needed for something. What is this doing? Oh, I'm going to drive my rover over here and lift it up or something. Whoa, what are you? Oh, you're just one without wheels. Do it. Oh, bye. Do I need to get a part off of you? Oh, this game's going to work. It's going to make me get some parts off this thing. Oh, there's a bunch of them. Oh, sweet. There's an elevator. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to leave it here for this episode. I cannot wait to ride that Lunar Rover, but I really want to save that for an episode. It's an entirety. So at least in this episode, we got to see some crazy robot Sith looking things. So that was crazy. But anyway, please like, comment, share, subscribe, do whatever you got to do. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time, stay safe, have fun. And game on.